Okay, this is blowing my mind. Brian Koberger's defense attorney is a lady called Ann Taylor. Ann Taylor was Zana Kernoodle's mother's defense attorney prior to being Brian Koberger's defense attorney. How is this not a conflict of interest? The reasoning is that Ann Taylor is one of the very few defense attorneys who is equipped to manage a case like this. However, there's an account on here called Abby and Mom, and she looked up the number of potential defense attorneys that could have represented Brian Koberger, and she determined that there were 29. So why would they put Ann Taylor on Brian Koberger's case when she had been representing Zana Kernoodle's mother? To clarify a few things that some of you may not know, Zana Kernoodle's mother has a long criminal record from the age of 17. Again, we're not going to judge her for that. And she was arrested in the days after the murders for drug trafficking or drug dealing. Because she is a resident of Idaho, she was given Ann Taylor as her defense attorney. Defense attorneys like Ann Taylor are public defenders who are assigned to their clients. They're not picked by their clients. So the fact that the state is assigning the same attorney to both individuals is unusual. And of course, Ann Taylor had to resign from her position of defending Zana's mother. And here's the document that proves she resigned on January the 5th from defending Zana's mother.